Okay, we added the texture fills. We used them in various ways. And we can build them up with duplicates or not. Actually, not sure how much I, I need them. But next, I'm going to bring in another texture fill just to show you that process again. This one is not exactly uh, devoid of color, but this is just a much clearer, kind of more grayscale one. So what am I going to do? I'm going to stretch it to fill corner to corner. I can hold down shift and like manipulate it a little bit. I can even warp it so it kind of fits with my landscape a little bit more. You know, put the highlight kind of in the mid middle area. And then I have some harder edges here. And I can do filter, blur, Gaussian blur to soften it. This is even before I rasterized it, right? So that's one option, but here the really the only hard edges are right there. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to rasterize it, right click and rasterize. So I can make all these changes without having to use fancy uh, layer masks. And I'm going to use the tool that's above dodge, burn and sponge. And I'm going to use the blur tool. I'm going to make it pressure sensitive for my tablet. I am going to use a 50% strength. I'm going to go big and soft edged. And then I'm just going to blur and take some of that hard edge out. The other tool that's handy for this is smudge. Because smudge, you can kind of push the edges around on your clouds. Here, let's lessen that strength, though. Let's make sure this brush is 0% hardness. Otherwise, it's going to look a little weird. And as you push it, it's like pushing the clouds with wind. It's going to kind of soften them out. Now, this takes a lot of processing, but these are all ways you can soften besides just using the Gaussian blur. It's taking quite a bit of processing, so I'm going to go ahead and say, um, wait. I just saved my work right before this. And I will let it snap back. So while that's doing it, I can go. I have way too many tabs open as well in uh, in my browser here. While that's doing it, I can go to canvas to where I first posted assignment one because I can resubmit it once I'm happy with it. So in the course, I go to home, I go to assignments, and I go to where we post assignment one, just to skip right to it. I find my original post, and I'm going to click on edit. And because I feel like with texture fills, with dodging and burning, I have improved my project. And maybe it could even earn more points than it got the first time. Or I just think it's better and I want to submit the better version. I'm going to use the term resubmission. What I do not do is delete anything that came before. OK, so let me finish this up. I'm just going to use my filter and Gaussian blur. Or you know what, in, even instead of that, I'm just going to free transform it and just get rid of those hard edges by stretching it. So hold down shift, whoops, wrong layer. Edit, free transform, hold down shift so I can stretch it and just pull it down like that. And then I accidentally moved this layer. I got to move this one back. There we go. Okay, now I can just take the opacity down. 
All right, and see how that affects the image. I can also dodge and burn right on that image. So I'm going to use burn, and I'm going to do what's called vignetting it by darkening around the corners. And what I am burning is actually my texture fill. So it's going to be very subtle. But you'll see by the time I'm done, it can be a pretty effective way to bring prominence to certain parts of your composition while still having them in believable depth of field. So if I show it at 100%, now it looks like this. I have all these burned marks. And especially around the edges, kind of focusing us in on the middle. I oh, don't want to burn that. And then I can dodge it as well. So dodge, burn, and texture fills. That's what we're doing. Taking the opacity down. And you see if that adds anything. Is it better with it, with it or without it? And then, do I want to sync it through my layers at all? Like behind my french fries. I actually kind of like it on top. But I can erase it out in certain places. Gently. And I can also just take the opacity down on all of my texture fill layers a little bit. Until I'm happy with it. Okay, so once it's done, you're going to save it, of course. This is still your assignment one. It's your working format. So now it's saved. It's going to change. I'm going to mark it green. To put it to canvas, I need to say export as a JPEG. And that's always going to export to the same place, which is your downloads folder. So I grab that JPEG. I'm going to put it to my desktop and I'm going to relabel it so it doesn't replace my first JPEG in my folder. I'm going to relabel it by adding the word resubmission. It's okay to just update your PSD, but for your JPEG, it's good to keep your different progress shots. So this was the last JPEG I submitted. Right. And now with Atmosphere, this is my improved JPEG. Which just feels like I smeared Vaseline over it but I can see those three layers of depth more clearly now. And if I want to correct it all, I can just hold down Option and say, or select all the visible layers before I hold down Option. Come on. Show it to me. So from here to here, select all layers then hold down option and say layer merge layers for a non-destructive flattening come on so it will give me just the image on top and if photo piece slow for that there it is then what you can do on that combined layer is just play with image adjustments to the whole thing this is taking up quite a bit of memory but it's worth it to get a good landscape. So I start with levels. And this is with atmosphere and everything else. I can deepen the midtones. Because everything got pretty blasted out with all that light texture. Then I can go to color balance. And I can shift the midtones one way or the other. So I want these kind of fast food colors, especially of red and yellow, to really pop. And then to be complemented by the, the blues and the cyans and the shadows. And then 
probably won't need this, but I can go to hue saturation and just push it a little bit one way or the other and see what's better. So I think actually a little bit towards the, the greens is better. And then I can either up the saturation a little bit or take it down. It depends what I'm going for. I think I'll just up it a tiny bit. And then you can see what the difference is from that to that. Right. Now this has all of that texture still, but now it's more balanced in its histogram. And there is a big difference between before any texture fills and now this new finished example. So that's going to be the one I save. That's going to be the one I make a JPEG of. There it is. Now file export as a JPEG. That's always going to go to downloads. Bring that to the desktop. <laughs> Relabel it. Because I think I like this better than I like this. Though it's all subjective. You can also open it up just in preview. And I'll often do this just before I post things online. Because JPEGs compress your image but if you go to preview and then you use the tools and use adjust color this is just the default image viewer in on a mac you can you can do auto levels and you can adjust the histogram there and you can play with things like the overall saturation the overall sharpness the tints and tones just to get kind of the landscape you like the most before posting. You can increase the contrast. You can play with the subtleties of dimming the highlights or dimming the shadows. Yeah. So I'm going to call this resubmission two. You can make as many kind of corrections as you want. At one, at some point, uh, it gets very subjective, and so that's why I'll keep multiple copies. <laughs> but that resubmission two is the one I'm going to put into Canvas. I only want you to put clear improvements into Canvas, and that's why you keep your old files in there. So if you just change a little thing, don't expect for you know a new grade necessarily. I want them to turn into portfolio quality projects as our skills improve. All right. So you'll see a big difference between this and with the texture. Cool. So now that's done resubmitted assignment one now I'm ready to put a creature into it so I need to go to assignment two and this is the step we'll be on and find my PNG and then decide if my PNG needs to be corrected like if there's anything that still needs to be cleaned up stripped uh, clone stamped improved and mine's actually, I'm pretty happy with it. I've cleaned up all the grass. I've cleaned up all the little things. It's a good kind of generic sticker right now. So what I do is I, I have my landscape open. I'm going to turn this merged image of it off, right? And... I am going to put my PNG creature into it. And as soon as I do that, at the top of the image, I'm going to hit return. It's going to be a smart object. I leave it that way for now. I am going to say file and then save it as a different name because it's no longer assignment one. Now it is a creature scape. We're going to save it as a PSD and the name is no longer going to be assignment one. It's going to be proving.